So as the finale of Servant draws closer and closer, I keep thinking to myself, will we get some kind of shock twist ending M. Night Shyamalan style? Have they been building up to some kind of big shock twist reveal that is going to fundamentally change every single moment of Servant? Is it going to make us look back on the entire series with a new lens, a newfound appreciation for the story? Is it going to be like M. Night Shyamalan's films in that there is going to be a big shock twist ending that usually makes the film but unfortunately, sometimes breaks the film. He's a kind of make or break twist ending kind of guy, but he loves his big shock twist endings. So I've always been sitting there preparing for something like that. But nothing, <laughs> nothing could prepare me for an episode that would have a character, George, sit down and just dump an entire episode of exposition on us in which I felt like I was going through the five stages of grief. At first it was denial. I was like, there's no way this can be true. I refuse to believe this is true. And then I started getting angry. I was like, how dare this be the reveal? How dare this be the M. Night Shyamalan shock twist reveal? I was, oh, I was, I was furious. And then I was bargaining. I was thinking, no, but this must mean that. And this must mean that. This has got to be some kind of trick, some kind of game that George is playing with them. And then I just got so fed up and depressed. I spent so much of this episode just feeling flat. I went through depression. I was just sitting there just being like, oh, oh, and like we got flashback after flashback, scene of Leanne putting the baby in, seeing the doll, seeing the tunnels, seeing her put all the little splinters and they were explaining everything. And I'm like, I feel like this is like, doesn't really make sense. Like it's been so obvious that there's magic and supernatural things, but whatever, I guess they've been building up and now this is the big shock twist reveal. And I felt so flat and depressed. And then there came acceptance. And I was just like, well, I don't know. I guess I just have to accept that Leanne isn't magic. But I guess the fun twist on that is that she thinks she is magic because of all these things going away. And I reached acceptance. And I was like, okay, I guess I just have to accept the show for what it is. There's no point in getting angry. I, let's not treat this like a Game of Thrones season eight because I don't want to be depressed for the next three to forever the rest of my life. Let's just move on. Deep breaths, deep breaths. <sighs> accept the show for what it is. Yes, this was a big exposition episode that was doing a big M. Night Shyamalan shock twist reveal. And I was in denial. I was angry. I was bargaining. I was depressed. But now let's just take a deep breath and accept. Accept the show for what it is. I still like some of these characters. And at the end when Leanne stands up and they're all kind of fighting back to her because she doesn't have magic powers and they realize that now. And you're kind of like, okay, well, this is an interesting new dynamic. Not what I want from the end of the show, but at least, I don't know, I like these characters enough. Let me, oh, thank God. Oh, George is slapping himself and he said, blast me. Oh, thank, oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, <laughs> oh, it was all a trick. Oh, it was all a lie. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, thank God. I thought they'd ruined the show. Oh, that acceptance thing. That was just a lie. That was something I was, tri I was just lying to myself. So I didn't, you know, go spiral into like, you know, just this uh, psycho. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank God, George. Oh, thank God. I don't know why you would try and trick and lie. And I mean, you know, straight off the bat, very angry, very angry. I feel very manipulated, Servant, the TV series, and George, the character George. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I swear. And, I, and this isn't just the five stages of grief, you know, situation little bits I'm doing. I literally straight off the bat was in denial. Like I was like, no, 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 no. This is... He's doing a little, a little play, a little uh, theater of the mind. He's tricking them. Why? Why is he tricking them? Makes no sense. Okay, okay. But he's got to be tricking them. <laughs> it can't be, the twist can't be that it's not magic. That's, that's so boring and uninteresting and just infuriating and frustrating. I love magic. I love weird magic, which just stuff. And we have seen too much stuff. It, it just makes the whole show seem so like, ah, just, oh, that's not what I want to see. Like, oh, <laughs> Oh, this episode really got me. It got me because I was like, I was in denial. I was like, I do not trust this. And then just the more scenes they showed, I was like, well, I guess it is. I I, I guess this is the twist. And I, <laughs> it got me. This show got me so good. So this episode was a bit of a, a bit of a roller coaster for me. I am super curious 
did this episode work on other people? Did you find it like the kind of roller coaster of emotions? Did it trick you? Or did you kind of see it for a lie from the start? Like, did you just go, ah, oh, this must be the plan, his end game plan that George mentioned earlier in the, ep- like a couple of episodes ago, where he's like, I have one final plan and it is in motion or whatever. Like, in hindsight, maybe I should have seen it coming, but I just felt like at a certain point, I'm like, it's just being told it's such a matter of fact where it's kind of like, it's almost like looking at the audience being like, ha ha ha. This is why we never confirmed. We never confirmed any magic. You just assumed. Ha ha ha, gotcha. M. Night Shyamalan twist, rug pulled out. Twist, twist, M. Night Shyamalan twist. Bloody gotcha, mate. I was just like, I, I, like, honestly, if this show hadn't been created, and I know he's not like writing and directing that many episodes anymore, but like, I don't know. It just feels like because his like fingerprints, like his blueprints are in the show. And honestly, I don't know how much he's involved in the show, but I imagine it's quite a lot in terms of just the broad scope of the story they're telling. Maybe not the minutia of the dialogue and that kind of stuff. But it's just kind of like, I don't know. I think if any other creator had been a part of this, I might not have been like, oh, I guess this is the big shock twist reveal. But because it's M. Night Shyamalan, I'm like, oh, it's this. But usually I'm like, overwhelmed like my goosebumps have goosebumps and i'm like oh my god twist reveal what whereas this one i was just like (sighs) i felt so flat (laughs) like oh this episode (laughs) ah for context i'm not sweating because i'm so angry this episode got me that good it's just it's like it's like 35 degrees today it's oh it's so hot oh george you cheeky sneaky son of a bitch oh i just oh i i i I feel like i have nothing clever to say about this episode except oh it got me good and i think it got me so good though because i'm just like i just got so disappointed like i was just so like like i felt like i was sean like i kept just being like but what about this scene what about the baby it's clearly been a magic baby turned back into a doll turned back into a magic baby <laughs> and it's just like oh there was just some dead drug addict on the ground and the baby was just there and i'm like what that doesn't make any sense but then when you see her walk past he's like and leanne thought this was a sign from god and i'm like oh okay so this is all going to be like that she thinks she is like this magical chosen one character and we're going down this road. And I think if the show hadn't gone for so long and it hadn't done so many things that it feels so obviously magic and supernatural, this would actually be quite an interesting twist. But because we've just done so many things and having Sean and Julian finally realize it all to then like pull the rug and be like, actually, it's just like a crazy stalker lady. Oh, I mean, actually, now I say that, I really didn't like the idea that kind of reducing Leanne to just, like, stalker. Because for so much of the series, I haven't seen Leanne at all as a villain. And season four keeps really trying to push her as a villain. And then this episode being, like, villain and stalker. And just a psycho. And just, like, I don't know, all these things where I'm like, I don't know. And even now that it's revealed, no, no, she is magic. And this is just a way to pit them against her, but they don't feel afraid of her. And her magic now, I guess, is his point, which seems dangerous as hell, which is obviously going to cook up some tasty, tasty conflict for our final three ep- three episodes. But it's kind of like, oh, I just, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, ah, there's so much of the episode really annoyed me. But I do love the balls on them. Like, how are they even walking with balls that big to, like, do an episode like this, to be like, let's give them an M. Night Shyamalan twist ending, like a full episode explanation epi, and it's just one big troll. Like, it's just one big fake out. And I, I mean, in a lot of ways, I almost think it would have been more baller and more kind of bold to end the episode with that. Be like, that's the episode. Big reveal episode. And then let us all sit and stew on it. Because then I would have, like, if it didn't reveal, I would have been like, wow, this episode really, really underwhelmed me. It really disappointed me. I felt really flat. But... I think it's a twist. I think it's like a fake out. Like it's a fake twist and they'll pull the rug back under. Like they they pulled the rug and then they're going to push the rug back under our feet next episode. And this is for the characters for whatever reason. And so I think to have George at the end of the episode do this, it's like, I reckon maybe save that for the end of next epi or start next epi that way. I don't know. I just think, but I don't know. Maybe then I would just be so flat and disappointed. I wouldn't be keen for the rest of the, like the finale. But then I think that would kind of overwhelm me with joy next epi and you kind of, that week to week thing, like I like the idea of using episodes like that and giving people a week to kind of stew on it and kind of discuss amongst ourselves and kind of that water cooler moment talk situation, which I love from week to week. And so I think maybe it loses something there, but maybe it's kind of a closed epi of like a fake out and then like actually, no, no, it's just because maybe they didn't want to like let you sit for a week being so annoyed and disappointed. 
to then just be like, actually, we were just tricking. Lo, 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 ha, 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 jokes. Bloody gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I just, <laughs> this episode really got me. Emotionally, just like really like exceptional in terms of just kind of like a roller coaster of emotions to make me really go like, I, I, I've been a little nervous. We're not going to get full explanations. We're not going to have enough time with all this stuff. But this one, this was quite, I don't know, quite a big, bold, wild epi. I do wonder though, are some people really disappointed by this? Like are really annoyed that we've wasted a full epi on a big fake out. I think you kind of got to spend this much time to make it feel real. Like for me at first, I'm like, I don't believe it. But then I'm like, this is, it's just going to be a whole episode of this. Like this is the reveal episode. This is like the episode. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. And that, it kind of got me by being so overlong. Like it's kind of like, like a joke where it's like, ah, oh, it's not funny. Oh, actually it's gone for so long. It's become funny. And then right at the end, it's like, oh, it's gone for so long. It's not funny anymore. It's going to have that kind of pace to it by being so extended. Um, yeah, just, oh, 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 one little note about the next three episodes. <laughs> when is Dorothy going to find out? Like, seriously, seriously, Dorothy was like, I mean, she went on a whole, whole little quest of Leanne's been stalking me for years and that kind of backed up all the other stuff, but also maybe it just backs up the fact that she's magic and obsessed with Dorothy, which is still true. Like she's obsessed with Dorothy, but all the magic stuff is not true. So it's like, he was sprinkling little bits of truth in there, George. I think that's also what really, really got me is we're catching Dorothy, watching all these things. And he's like, and he was kind of backing that up. So I'm like, well, he's not lying about that, but he's lying about other things. So that kind of worked really well for me as well. But I don't, <laughs> we need Dorothy to find out that she, you know, let Jericho die soon. Because if she finds out in the finale and we only have like 10, 15 minutes of her as a character dealing emotionally with that, it's going to be wasted potential, wasted, rich character kind of emotional potential for just like, I mean, it's going to be heartbreaking and horrifying and terrible, but like, I don't know, the whole show has been building up to this moment. I need to have the character sit in it for a bit. So she needs to find out, I mean, next episode or the start of episode nine, maybe like she finds out at the end of next episode, big cliffhanger, she realizes then episode nine and 10 when we get 60 minutes to, you know, deal with it. But yeah, I'd love to know what everyone thought. Big yays, big nays, mixed nuanced opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below. I'd love to know what everyone thought of this episode of Servant.